Okay, so a couple of days ago I showed you and reviewed my speed play pedals in great detail and today I want to compare them to my other pedals, pedals to the Aero model which I have on my TT bike. The main difference is basically uh, this unlike other speed play pedals is a single sided pedal and the other non-functional part or part that you can't clip in it has a plastic dimpled surface which mates uh, directly to the dimpled cleat that I've shown you earlier uh, because I'm using the cleat from this pedal the aero walkable cleat for both pedals so that is the main difference I also have this version with the titanium axle uh, it's not because of the weight I'll be honest with you because the weight doesn't really matter and it, it does matter even less on the TT bike the reason I got this uh, in titanium as well because you get different spindle lengths uh, when buying steel or titanium ones so the titanium pedals have a short spindle which means a narrow Q factor and this way I have both my pedals with the same Q factor so that I think that's quite an important thing when you're switching bikes then I wanted to have it the same otherwise the spindle is also different in a way that it doesn't have uh, the head for the, f for the 15 mm of pedal spanner but it has a hex key uh, hole from the other side like Shimano pedals or uh, most modern pedals and unlike other speed plays so at first I didn't really like these pedals that much because the entry well normal speed plays require a bit of adjustment as well but these I have found that are really really hard to engage and I needed a lot of practice to do that but now I think the pedals have broken in and I can engage them just as easily as the other ones as the double sided ones so the drawback of the single sided system well if you get on and off your bike a lot then it probably is a drawback on a TT bike which I use for short time trials that is not, not an issue of course and I wanted to have every advantage as I can get so this I don't know no one exactly quotes what kind of air benefit you get from using these but I guess if it's less than zero then it's good enough because all these little changes do add up and you ad end up with something really really fast in the end so that's why I like changes like this and I have some more coming up for this bike and the other one as well so if you'd like to know more about that then don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, this is all for today thanks for watching and see you next time